Hey everyone, welcome to Avamax Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady Lair and today we're gonna tie the Thread Frenchie. Starting out, we have our hook and our vise. This is the Umpa C400 VL. It's a great standard gape, barbless uh, jig style hook. Doing a size 16 today. And the bead we have on there is a tungsten slotted 2.4 millimeter, 330 seconds size. And then we're gonna start with just a little bit of lead wire using the 010 on this size 16 today. So we'll throw some wraps down. Not too many, I wanna keep a super slim profile to this fly. So I'm just gonna do about five wraps. Nice and tight here, right up behind the bead. And that'll also help keep our bead in place. Position on the hook eye. If you haven't tied jig style hooks before, you wanna position that rounder side of the bead upward, and then you can use your thread, your wire, or your material to help keep that in place. So from there, we're gonna start with our thread, and this is gonna be the main body of our fly, using some 16-aught Vivas Olive today. You can do this fly in an array of colors, most commonly done in more natural earthy tones, browns and olives and things. But we're just gonna do a few quick wraps there and go right into tying in our tailing material in an effort to keep this as slim as possible. So I have some whiting Coque de Leon. This is the medium pardo, I believe. A little bit darker color than some of the other options. And I'm gonna pull just a few fibers off, five or six or so, and we're gonna measure out and do kind of a stubby tail on this. So we'll go ahead and capture that in. Make sure we got a good length and then we can walk our thread back with nice touching wraps. As smooth as possible, considering that'll be the main body of our fly. Come back in, clean out that excess, and come back with our wire. So also, to try and keep it slim, I'm using an extra small wire for our ribbing. This is the copper UTC. And you can kind of use this material if you lay it right up to where your lead starts to help transition. So we'll capture that in at the back. And walk on forward touching wraps again. where that lead is. It's an awesome little Euro style fly. Gets down quickly because we're gonna coat the body with UV. That helps get it down real fast. And then the added tungsten and lead wire also contribute to that. Fish this in an array of sizes. If you make it a, a upsize it quite a bit. It's a great uh, still water fly as well. I'm just going to work on our transition here slightly so that we can get up on the lead wire nice and clean. It also helps to create just that slight taper that you want on this pattern. And I'll jump up and on and cover this up best we can here without getting too bulky. It's a nice smaller nymph pattern if you fish a lot of jig hooks. I tend to fish mostly 16s just because of the, the gate between the hook eye and the point. I want to maximize. So doing this kind of slim bodied Nymph helps to keep it small while still having a good hookup ratio. I'm just going to half hitch my thread off and then rip out our wire. Do some crisscross wraps over it, locking it down. And then we can spin it on out of there. So 
So now I'm going to go ahead and whip finish off this thread. It's kind of a transition point on this fly. Gets everything out of the way so that we can come in and do our UV nice and easy using the Solarez Thin Hard formula right there. It's a great, great option for this. Soaks into the thread just enough and then still gives you that nice translucent body. I'm just going to use a very small amount on this pattern. Put a little on top and then we can come with our bod can and move it around making sure we're coating the entire fly. Rotary vise really makes this a lot easier than if you don't have one. Not that it can't be done. Spoiled a little bit by it, I suppose. I'm just trying to get a nice smooth, clean taper in the back to the front, making sure we're getting it in all that thread. And then once we're happy with that, we'll come in with our UV light. This is the new Loon Infinity Light. Great product. If you've used less expensive UV lights in the past that take batteries, you know that those batteries never last. Having a light that you can recharge is definitely a game changer. Once we have that cured nicely, we'll come in with our finishing thread. This will also match the dubbing hotspot that I'm going to put on here. So just some nice quick locking wraps, cutting out our tag end, coming with our dubbing. So I'm going to use the Ice Dub Hot Orange, great little attractor color, and just a very sparse amount, really don't want too much. This is a good pattern to enforce the use half of what you think you need dubbing to roll because you can always add a little bit more if you need to get a nice tight dub noodle I'm going to use this low tack swax from Loon since this is ice dubbing it'll help keep it a little bit tighter and then we'll just Create our nice quick collar here, like so, and give it a final whip finish. This can be a really effective fly throughout the year. It's a great winter time pattern as well. If you get it nice and deep when the fish are holding lower and in the tail outs, looking for those nymphs that maybe are a little more dormant than they would be other times of the year. Get you down quickly. Got your weight so you can fish a Euro style without any split shot or just go ahead and throw it on and fish it under an indicator as well. It'll work just as well. There's a nice thread Frenchie.